Friendly fire is a very old mechanic that doesn't make any sense anymore, and its only purpose is to express negative emotions in the game. In fact, team killing doesn't solve any practical issues. Generally, it's just a means of toxicity. What's even scarier, it's not just about expressing negative emotions once, it's a thing that could potentially cause a domino effect. Say a player expresses their negativity by shooting at an ally, which in turn provokes negativity in the ally that they shot. And after that, anything can happen. According to the game rules, such actions are forbidden. They're punishable by corresponding sanctions, including account bans. Any similar situation leads to the weakening of the Allied team, so it's a pretty serious issue in any case. We've observed the situation for quite a long time, and now we're finally ready to deal with this feature, so to say. We decided to rework the damage system, removing the friendly damage by shooting or ramming. Picture this, you're aiming at the enemy at mid-range, and just as you fire a shot, an ally drives into your reticle. Of course, your ally has no idea what just happened. They got shot in the rear and lost a thousand hit points. You're also shocked because you just dealt a thousand damage to an ally. You're both very frustrated at the situation, especially the ally that got hit. After we release this feature, there'll be no damage if an ally drives into your reticle at the moment of firing. A non-penetration decal will be drawn on the ally's hull, or a ricochet decal if there was a ricochet. There will be no damage. The ally will hear an alternative hit sound and see a flash that's different from the one we're used to. In such situations, when a vehicle is trying to change sides and the player isn't looking where the vehicle is moving, but backwards. Like, they're looking at the enemies to see if they receive damage from allied fire, things like that. Of course, they aren't looking forwards and can easily hit another allied vehicle. From now on, allied vehicles won't receive damage upon collision. Some players used an ancient mechanic. Basically, they abused the tank's gun being solid for shells. There was a popular hobby among those players. Drive up to an allied SPG when it doesn't see them, place their gun into the SPG's gun, and wait until it shoots. The shell could explode on the tank's gun and deal huge high-explosive damage to the SPG itself. From now on, if an HE shell crosses an allied gun, it will just fly right through. Because we're disabling friendly fire, an RT can't deal damage, but we decided to allow them to stun allies like before. Imagine a situation where a player on a one-shottable vehicle clinches an enemy to avoid damage, survives and potentially avoids being shot by an enemy artillery. Without any effect on the allies, an RT would be able to just send a shell into a group of allied and enemy vehicles and be unpunished, which would affect the battle dramatically. So, just as before, they'll have to think about who to target in order to avoid stunning allied vehicles and receiving the corresponding penalty. Even with the new system, you can get a team killer status. A player with this status will receive damage from shooting and ramming as the new mechanic stops working on them. Any player who plays actively sometimes hits allies because human reactions aren't always fast enough to react the moment someone rolls into your sights. And, well, we're all people. We all have feelings. Sometimes you shoot at someone just because you're angry. The most important thing we intend to do is prevent the above-mentioned domino effect, when even a random accident that causes damage to an ally may lead to a catastrophic situation for the team when teammates start fighting against each other and lose the battle. The common test where you can try this mechanic in random battles will start very soon. We're looking forward to your feedback. Enjoy the game! <laughs>